to work after any length of absence can be quite difficult. Now add to that anxiety, depression. Any number of mental health issues can take a somewhat daunting task and make it all the more challenging. The very innovative and creative program called Back in the Saddle is designed to help those with mental health issues gain the skills they need to return to the workforce by using equine assisted therapy. Decide with conviction where you're going. Stay focused on where you want to go. The program was developed through collaboration between the Charitable Foundation Horses at Heart, run by Deborah Weiss, and the Employment Specialist Nancy Gagnon with the Canadian Mental Health Association, York Region and South Simcoe Branch. Uh, the program is laid out actually over 12 weeks now, and the participants go through the 12-week cycle, and they're really invited, encouraged to come back and do it over and over again for up to a year, because what they learn in the program is really additive, and it really works with repetition. So they spend one morning a week doing a um, emotional health building workshop, and we really go over anxiety coping skills, uh, skills of working with people, skills of how to deal with time management and stress management and all of those things that are really important not only on a day-to-day -day in our day-to-day -day lives but of course important in uh, employment situations so they do that once a week and then they come and they volunteer in the barn for uh, a day of every week and they're really both learning horse and barn care skills but they're also learning whether they're ready to go back into the workforce can they get up even on those challenging days can they show up to work can they be healthy and productive during the day. Well, being out of work for a long time, uh, there's a lot of fears involved and, and overcoming fears is a lot of what we work on here. And so that, that piece allows them a place where they have a supported employment location and they can, they can feel at ease. They, can, uh, they know they're among the people that are understanding, that there's social work background and equine assisted therapy background where they, can, uh, they know they can, they can come in and um, and, and if, if they are not feeling so well one day, um, there's some understanding. They, they talk through it. Um, there's, um, the horses help a lot with that. <laughs> so I think it's a natural progression that uh, to be here, they, they suddenly feel better. Um, one of our participants, um, te their testimonial on the program was that uh, this is a place where they, they stopped thinking their negative thoughts. And, and it took them from their unhealthy place, their unhealthy mind and way of thinking, and, and put them in a positive frame of mind and allowed them to, to think positive thoughts and, and uh, enjoy their day and enjoy the sunshine. And, and, and we work a lot on that, the science You're of good. happiness here. You're good. Be confident because the horse will sense that. The horse can tell on that energetic level how you're feeling. Beautiful. That looks great. The focus of the program isn't to be a therapeutic program in terms of going over what their life stories and their challenges are. The focus of the program is to develop new ways of thinking and new ways of being in the world that are productive and healthy and joyful. So when they come to the barn, they really have the chance to spend the whole day having a great day. It feels great to be outside, it feels great to work with the horses, and we work with them to give them some, some skills with working with the horses and, and working in the barn. And most importantly, that they should really feel great. Get through the day and be able to focus on doing something productive. And at the end of the day, they really have done a, a lot. They've taken care of the horses, they've taken care of where the horses live and what the horses are eating. And it's very rewarding and it's very empowering. The BIS program has been running for two years and approximately 40 CMHA clients have participated. Anthony is one of those clients that is still coming to the program even after the initial 12-week run. Well, I love the animals. I like the work. It's given me a lot of uh, kind of confidence to hopefully get back into the workplace one day. Uh, it's great to have like responsibility, routine, a nice place to come and have purpose, which a lot of people that suffer from mental illness kind of lack. So I come here as much as I possibly can. 
I'll come here really depressed or anxious, and I'll start working with them. And I don't know, I like talking to the animal. It's just, I don't know, they get comfortable. They like to know that you're in the area and that you're calm. They get all, like, they, they could sense when you're anxious or upset. So it helps working with them. And, uh, I, it helps me keep calm. Horses are nonverbal, so it really calls on us to be aware of how the horses are feeling and inter interacting with us. It really calls on us to be, um, <laughs> it really calls on us to be um, aware of how we are in the world affects others because horses are the easiest mirror for that, more so than people, because there's no judgment. They're not looking at what I'm wearing and who I am and what I look like and where I've been. They don't care about any of that. They just care, what's your energy like? Is it good energy? Is it relaxed energy? Is it trustworthy energy? And so can I be with you comfortably? That's all it is with the horses. So it really calls on us to find that in ourselves. I enjoy seeing, seeing people grow, um, seeing them move forward, uh, alleviating fears, um, and just building that relationship with the animal, building it with people, and, and gaining that, those peer relationships as well. I see a big change. Um, I see that they have uh, various tools that they can access when they're feeling anxious or when they're feeling uncomfortable. Um, I see people that are more engaging. Had, I see people who come to the program and don't make eye contact and by the end of the 12 weeks or 24 weeks or, or if they stay on, they're, they're really fully more engaged. And on the day that they come to do their barn volunteering, they're more able to show up, they're more nice, able to stay nice, for the day, nice. they're more able to really take on a very, um, you know, in some cases, very strong leadership roles in the, in the work in the barn. Level of focus, look well ahead, good 20 feet ahead, so that you know where you want to go, and Winston's right there. Nice, Brandon, beautiful. Now take a deep breath and stop and see what happens. Exhale and whew, come to a stop. Take a deep breath and stop. Beautiful. Oh my heavens. That's gorgeous. Spending time around these magnificent horses and one can understand how they can have such a positive effect on one's mental health. Now if you or someone you know can benefit from the Back in the Saddle program, contact Deborah by phone or you can visit www.horsesatheart.com.